We welcome you to the Alana Off family. It is time for evolution. So in today's video, we're going to be learning about feet. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And comment down below what you think about the video, etc. Alrighty now. So, we're going to start off with a wedge shape. This uh, a triangle, like a triangle, a slanted triangle without the pointiness of a triangle. If that makes sense. So right now we're gonna just do that. So we're gonna draw this uh, this wedge shape that's like leaning, and this is going to be the the right foot, you know. So right now I'm drawing the opening of this right foot, you know. So this is similar to the opening of the hand tutorial I did for for last week. And so this this hand, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, draw the the four openings of the the finger. You know, with with four circles, just four circles, and as you're drawing the first four circles, you want to make sure there's space in between the the four circles. Okay, you don't want to draw the the circles uh, close together. And so right now, I'm just I'm going to just show you show you guys an example of drawing the the toe openings now for the for the feet. So I'm drawing I'm drawing the circles. You know, there's five openings for the feet for five toes. So right now you can see how I drew them like uh, they're close together. So what you want to do is, you know, erase it and kind of, uh, you know, separate it just just slightly. You don't want them too close together. You always want to like leave a little bit of space. And so right now I'm just going to uh, finish it up and draw uh, the other circles of this of this foot. All right. And so the, the middle section is, is like the measurements, like where you would divide, uh, where you would divide it. To like get, you know, to like get where uh, the the ankles are, you know. So, so right now I'm dividing it, and right now I'm also like correcting, or or not correcting, but more so just just refining the the the, the slanted uh, triangle shape at the moment. And so right now I am I'm drawing the the ankles. Now the the ankle that's close to the pinky toe is lower. The anchor that's close to the big toe is much higher, and these are also part of the landmarks of the foot. You know, yeah, so there are different landmarks of the body, and this is the landmark that's, you know, closest to the foot. You know, as there are so many different landmarks to the body, I did, I, there was also a landmark on the hand tutorial, but yeah, you, you can check that out. So right now, I'm just drawing the toes. What I'm doing is I'm drawing uh, two circles the toes so it's so it just it's just two circles and I'm gonna go into like more detail with that so right now you know you know I'm just drawing two circles just two circles and I'm just gonna give you guys a, a bigger example of the two circles and so as you can see after you draw the two circles you draw the nail you know and then when you when you draw the nail you, you then you start to like refine it so that you don't see the two circles anymore you know, so just refine it so you don't you don't see the two circles anymore, and that uh, you know they're uh, combined. So that's what I'm gonna do with the, with this foot example right now. All right, so I'm just like erasing some of the uh, some of the stuff here, some of the uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just erasing some of the the, the nuances there. And I'm just gonna draw like the toe. You know, remember it all originated from two circles. Okay, so as I'm like drawing these uh, these two circles, I'm like finishing it up. So one, one key thing to remember is that measurement is like dividing something in the middle. It's dividing these toes in the middle. Now I want you guys to like know that like uh, the two toes and in it like the two toes like the big toe and the little toe. They, they are equal in width compared to the three toes at the end. So they're equal in width. So yeah keep that in mind and that's why I also divided the line in the middle. And so this time, for the second foot, we're just gonna make the foot a lot less bony. And again, we're starting off with a slanted triangle. There's no points within the center triangle. The 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 uh, the medially, the you can see how it's like kind of straight, and then outside outside or, or laterally, you can see how it's slanted a little bit. And uh, I'm drawing the the ankles. Again, the 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 ankles that's closer to the to the big toe is higher. The ankle that's closer to the little toe 
is is lower so I'm just drawing the, the two circles to uh, fill in the feet etc and then there's a, a line that's dividing them in the middle and again the the, the, the width of the uh, the width of the division like the two the two toes in front and the two toes like at the end like to the right side and, and the two two toes I guess to the to the left side they are uh, they are equal in uh, in in width you know so so yeah and and this this foot is a lot less a lot less bony so there isn't much of a much of a a bump to it so and right here I'm just you know just highlighting and I'm just showing you guys how the ankles are how they're uh, how they're kind of aligned with each other you know how, how they slant you know again the the ankle to the middle is higher the ankle to the to to the I guess the outside is much lower so yeah and these are called the the the, the lateral uh, medialis I, I believe I think I, I usually call it lateral lateral or medial uh, male just for short so yeah All right, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, male feet and and female feet and some of the the slight differences that you'll see. So right now I'm drawing the I'm drawing the the male feet at the moment, and so the male feet it's a bit more it's a bit more wide, you know it's a bit more wide. it's bigger it's bigger than the female feet, and also has again I'm doing the the division similar to how I divided the the toes in towards the middle. I'm doing the same thing. I'm adding the division. Uh, of the uh, the two big the two toes and the three other toes to the right the two toes to the left and the three toes to the right and, and it's similar in terms of, of, of width okay so you know right now you can see how you know I'm and, and you know as you're drawing that line in, in the body you can see how the curve you know aligns the, the curve within the center of the foot the the arc you can call it is it's it, it, it touches that it touches that and so right now I'm just showing you guys like just a little bit of a little uh, you know diagram of what to see. Uh, sometimes I I personally like to draw the, the feet a bit more uh, bony for for males and uh, uh, more more soft for females. And so for female feet, there's gonna be a lot uh, a lot less bony. Uh, a bit uh, and it's more smaller compared to the male feet and also the curve the curve is much uh, is more wider or it's more uh, yeah it's more yeah it's more uh, it's bigger a bigger curve compared to the male com yeah compared to the male feet so the feet in general for females is small the only thing that's bigger than a male feet is the curve which is inside the, the woman's feet you know or you know you know you get what I mean like an underneath or, or so so yeah I'm just like kind of I'm kind of I'm just dividing it a little bit and so like in general like the, the the toes for the male feet they go inward they go they they're directed inward and the toes for the male for the female feet are like directing like outward towards the body but it really does depend uh, if the male feet is more bony then it's going to go more uh, more uh more outward but yeah it, it just it just depends on how you want to like draw the feet all right so right now i'm drawing the, the side profile of the feet so i'm just gonna i'm just showing you guys the angle of the side profile of the feet that i'm drawing so it's going to be going towards that angle all right so this is going to be the leg right and this leg is going to look kind of look like an arrow but this leg, this arrow is just to indicate the division between the heel and the other section of the foot, and is also there to indicate the the ankle, the ankle, you know, the ankle bone, you know, where the ankle bone is. So right now, uh, this I'm also dividing the front of the foot to the to the arc. So the front of the foot is a, is a line to the to the to the arc that's being pulled upward you know it's aligned to that curve of the foot you know 
so that's where the middle of the arc you know usually goes it goes like in front of the the the, the leg line if that makes sense okay so right now I'm just drawing the, the toe and also I'm going to also divide what a toe is so so right now I'm just gonna show you guys in terms of width the equal like in terms of what what's equal so the the big toe and the heel are both uh, equal to each other uh, I, I I did make the that line a bit more longer with the toe section but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of I guess undo it the mistake if that if that helps but generally the big toe and the in the heel the the heel are equal in in width so so right now I'm just drawing the again the remember the arrow that we draw in the beginning I'm just like defining the the ankle bone there so so yeah and so I'm going to show you guys like how to find like the alignment so right now uh, I'm going to show you guys remember the line that I showed before that I'm drawing right now I'm showing you guys that line that's like connected to like the front area of the foot of the leg I mean and I'm connecting it and I'm aligning it with the arc it's just to find just to find my way around around the foot here and there in terms of the angle and and also there's also a uh, a little bump like near near the near like the the middle not in the middle of the big toe but almost near the big toe there's like this bump this arc bump that I'm showing you guys right now so be be wary of that as well so I'm just completing these these toes here and right now I'm just drawing the the uh, just just the nails and also I want you guys to keep in mind where the bump where that bump of that uh, of that uh, near the big toe is so remember before I said that uh, you know again the big toe and the heel are equal in terms of uh, in terms of width in, th in this scenario it could be length so right now I'm, I'm drawing the most dominant bone which is near the big toe so, you know that's why I drew that little bump there so right now I'm showing you guys my my hand and so for the hand the dominant portion of the hand or the dominant bump is the middle finger you know and so right now I'm showing you guys the the, the another angle of the toe and yeah I mean another angle of the foot so we did the foot in one angle and this is the foot the foot turned to a different position where the toe is away from us now now the reason why we couldn't see the other toes from the other one is because the toe was so down that it was covering the, the other toes from you know from from the other toes that's behind it because it's so big and dominant so right now we're showing from a different angle and we can see how the toes right now we're, I'm just drawing the toes and right now uh, the big toes dominant so it's like kind of it's, it's, it's away from the, the other toes that's being shown and so this is like a slant there's a slant that's that's occurring so I'm gonna highlight that slant uh, so you could you know keep 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 that in mind and so right now I'm just gonna draw the the foot again so I'm showing you guys the like the arrow like where the ankle is so I'm gonna call that and how you, you can see how the the ankle also aligns with the, the arc in the middle of the foot so just imagine it being turned 3d uh, you know just being turned the other way and you can just see how that arrow just aligns with that that foot there and and the arc which is like behind the foot there so but right now I'm just I just want to focus on the toes and so the toes when you're looking at the toes uh, be sure to uh, divide the toes into one bending point in, like the the big toe and the picky and the pinky toe they they have like one bending bending point compared to compared to the three toes that are in the middle you know so right now I'm just gonna like kind of just you know draw it and then highlight it just just a little bit so this is like the side profile of those of that so you can see how it has like one bending point for the big toe and and the pinky toe and so I'm just gonna redraw it uh, quickly and just just highlight just show you guys like a, a highlight of like the three uh, toes that are in the in the center of the foot 
the, now the three toes that are in the center of the, that that are in the center of the foot, they have uh, they have three three bending points. No, not three. They have two. They have two bending points. Two, two, two bending points. Okay, two. So I'm showing you guys right now. So the big toe have one has one bending point. And the pinky toe has one bending point and the three toes in the center they have uh, two bending points 